back in middle school, my favorite Apple 2GS game was Zany Golf. I've been looking for it for five years, and I finally found a copy online. It's a website called what is the 2GS.apple2.org.za. <coughs> this website actually has hundreds of disk images for the Apple II. And in order to run these disk images, you have to run them through an emulator. There really is no good way to move a disk image from a modern machine to an 800 kilobyte floppy disk. Or is there? They don't offer no website that I've found has offered a foolproof solution to make this work. One of the uh, programs you can use is Apple Cider. Actually, is that what it's called? The program is called Cider Press 300, and it runs on a Windows machine. So, thinking I'm going to take this Cider Press program and take the disk image for Zany Golf and um, convert it to a somehow, somehow convert it to an 800k disk. The issue is Windows machines have no capabilities of reading or writing to an 800k disk. And the Apple II can't write to a 7 or read from a 720k disk which is what the Windows machines used. So there's a little problem there. I could run the program, the game, using an emulator on the PC, but what would be the fun in that? And I, I actually got it to run on my Mac here. With, um, I used uh, Sweet 16, which is an emulator for the Apple II GS for Mac OS X. And it does run on 10.5. It runs fairly well. But I wasn't satisfied. I was determined. I've been working on this for five hours. So then I got crafty. I found an emulator for the uh, classic Mac OS. In this case, I'm running, uh, I'm running OS 9. I took the emulator. I dumped it onto a floppy disk. I downloaded it with speed from the 10.5 machine. Put it onto a floppy disk, and I installed it on my uh, my PowerBook G3, which has the capability of reading and writing to an 800K ProDOS floppy disk. Very important because the Apple runs in ProDOS. Long story short, I was able to run the emulator use a program that I use for the 2GS called Disk Copy 2. Here it is. I was able to boot the emulator from the internal floppy disk. Disk Copy 2. I'm sorry, Copy 2 Plus. <laughs> and uh, I was then able to format another 800k floppy disk. This is just one of the many I used. Then I was able to mount the disk image which I copied with a floppy disk to here, and copy that disk image to a physical disk, which then I slid right into my 3.5 inch floppy drive. Now the rest is for your enjoyment. This was one of the, one of my favorite games for the Apple II. I used to play this um, in middle school. We had one Apple II GS and the whole Mac room, and since I couldn't sew, I played games all day. Here we go. I want to say um, I want to thank. Uh, oh, there's a 2GS guy out there that gave me some suggestions, some suggestions and hints on how to make this work. I'll credit him in the um, in the about window in this video. So again, thanks for all the suggestions. He's the one who actually got me to find the, or who linked me to the page that has the Apple II GS images. The game again is called Z.
Pennsylvania Golf. Bill Harvey sure did himself. This is so typical of the late 1980s computer game of Sunday and Funny. Press 1 to 4 to start, so I'm going to do one player. The first game is called Windmill Hole. It's basically a, a computerized mini golf course. The graphics don't show up very well in this flip video minnow, but they're actually incredible in person. Equivalent to a Nintendo um, NES 2. Uh, Super Nintendo, yes. Okay. Press button, over ball, pull back, and release. Free stroke awarded for entering windmill. So it's all mouse control. downfall is there's no volume control. This game was also available on the Sega Genesis. Oh, I see. So if you get it over that pump, all right, I got it. Hey, I won. Part two. I okay. This is my favorite. It's called Hamburger Hole. The music is kind of cool. I haven't played this game since 1996, so this is a bit, this is bringing back a lot of memories. I think we're gonna run out of time. hamburger themed ketchup bottles everywhere and oh, that's 
all the time we have for now. Until then.